Hi everyone, I'm Joe and today I'm going to be doing the booktube history tag. This tag was originally created by Harry Rosie, a fellow booktuber whose channel I will link in the description box below of course. Nobody tagged me to do this video, however I saw Rachel, known as Cardinalia Booktube, do this very recently and she made it look very interesting. So I thought I'll do it and well, here I am. The idea of the tag is very simple and it did follow the name extremely well. It's just your history with Book, you know where you started, who you watched originally, and basically how you've evolved with BookTube over the last however many years you've been with it. I might have had a dialogue to answer the question. Question one is when did you discover BookTube and how? Now I discovered BookTube around July or August 2013, about six months before I uh, uploaded my first video. So I was actually fairly new to the whole idea of BookTube when I first started creating videos myself. I I can't really remember exactly why I discovered booktube. I think I was trying to find new to me authors and I did a Google search and links to YouTube came up and I was really surprised because I was like well I'm searching for information about books so why is it linking me to YouTube? You know how can you talk about books on YouTube? It, didn't seem to work for me because I don't think of books and YouTube together, at least I never used to obviously. So I thought well, with a book you sit there and really preferably um, with like excessive amounts of noise in the background. So how does that work with videos and YouTube which, I don't know, I just didn't associate them together. But they did and well, here I am. Question two is, what are some of the first videos you remember watching? Now. I've forgotten most of the original channels because frankly some of the very original channels I've unsubscribed to quite a few of them by now and did that is relates to a further question but one of the ones I'm still subscribed to is Sana from Books and Quills and watching some of her reviews and some of her book topics which were quite interesting um, then and indeed some of them can still be now although obviously her tasting books is drastically different from mine so it's always 50-50 whether her things are, are that interesting to me personally but you know that's just one of those things. The other person that I remember watching from the very early days is Paige from Enchantology. She doesn't make videos as much anymore. She's had a bit of a sort of massive break from booktube at the moment which is a real shame because I really like Paige. I think she's brilliant. She always uh, makes really interesting videos where she obviously shows her really sarcastic sense of humour. She, she always reads interesting books and yeah, it's just one of, the, just one of those people that I've always liked. The third question relates to this, and that is, who was the first person you ever subscribed to? Also, I'm assuming this means booktube person you subscribed to. And indeed, that first person would be Paige or Instantology. I actually remember Paige is possibly either the first or the second video on booktube I ever discovered. I think, it, and indeed, I actually discovered Paige when she only had one video uploaded. Literally, she's brand new herself over three years ago now. However, I didn't actually subscribe to her immediately at the time because I never subscribed to people when I first find them. I'd add them to a folder for a while, I bookmark them and then see if they make videos on that same subject or was it just a one-off video. Unfortunately though, just after I discovered Paige, um, I upgraded my operating system and I lost my internet history and I couldn't find Paige for several months. Thankfully I did a few months later. Um, and I'm really glad I did because she's frankly awesome. And I'll link Paige's channel because you should go and subscribe. I mean, she, yes, she doesn't do videos much anymore, but she's still awesome anyway. Question four is, are there any booktubers that you used to subscribe to, but you're not anymore? And that's this is yes, There's quite a few actually. I'm not gonna say who because that basically that would be rather awkward. And then, but Basically, I described to people in the past, especially in the early days, because I didn't really know what BookTube was capable of, you know, what you could expect to see on BookTube. And I described to some people based on one or two videos, and then I realised that those one or two videos were one-off, as I previously just said. And that is when I realised, and I've done it ever since, when I discover a new BookTuber, I never ever subscribed to anybody immediately. It doesn't matter who it is, even Rachel. For instance, you know, I didn't even subscribe to Rachel immediately. I still add everybody to a YouTube folder for a month or two. I'll keep checking back on their channel. If their content is indeed what it appears to be, you know, they're talking about something that's interesting and indeed they themselves are talking 
are in an interesting way about them and they're just genuinely nice people then i will subscribe and obviously they'll be deleted off that uh youtube folder list question five is is this your first youtube channel and if not what was and this is indeed my first ever youtube channel as be honest, it will probably be my only ever youtube channel at least i can't see why at the moment i would ever want to create another channel I mean, it's taken me more than three years to get to this point so frankly the thought of creating a new channel and then trying to go through another three years i try to build my channel up very slowly and making connections with everybody and all this sort of thing it doesn't appeal actually it's the opposite appeal it's an extremely unpleasant thought frankly so i mean i don't know if, never say never however but it's unlikely i'll ever create a new channel frankly it really is question six is who is the last booktuber you subscribe to and for this the answer might be surprising because the booktuber in question is not exactly a little booktuber well not in terms of channel size although the, although they certainly are a very small booktuber in actual physical size and that is sam from sam's nonsense sam is actually been um doing booktube for as long as i have i believe i i've heard about her over two years ago now but for some reason i've just never subscribed to her even though i've had her channel bookmark in that uh, aforementioned uh, youtube folder for more than a year now i just haven't got around to actually uh, checking her channel out properly and actually subscribing to her until about four months ago now i think it was and i'm really glad i have because sam is uh, a really fun person basically you know, she, she always appears sort of fun and energetic and just sort of cheerful in her videos and I'm just, I would recommend you go and subscribe to her, or at least check her channel out if not at the minimum because she's well worth a watch. Question 7 is what was the last booktube video you watched? Now I'm not really sure which one it was but it was almost certainly one of Rachel's um, Vida videos. Uh, Rachel Kalanadi did Vida which is video every day in April and she, indeed she managed to do it successfully and it was one of those videos the last couple of days. I think it might have been her book haul video but I'm not sure because I haven't actually watched the video in two days so it's probably one of them I suspect. Question 8 is what non-bookish content do you watch on YouTube? And this is actually quite simple because frankly there's only really one other thing I watch on YouTube and that is trailers for movies. As you may or may not know I really like going to the cinema. I actually go to the cinema rather often at least once a month if not considerably more than that and YouTube is obviously the ideal way to watch YouTube, um, watch movie clips in fact and it's pretty much the only other thing I watch on YouTube other than you know, book related stuff because frankly most of the other things on YouTube don't really interest me. Occasionally I watch a random video about something if, it, if I notice it and it has an interesting title and it looks vaguely interesting but that's few and far between frankly. Question 9 is what were your first booktube videos like? Now as far as visual quality goes, and indeed audio, the same as I, uh, you are seeing now because I still have the same camera, I still have the same software on my computer to edit uh, my videos so visually you are still seeing me now as, as I was three years ago however as far as I'm concerned I think I'm much better now than I was three years ago obviously three years ago I'd never been on film before and I did thought of being on booktube would have scared the hell out of me you know three couple of years previously and now I can actually talk fairly confidently and without a major problem to a camera in a room on my own I mean for instance three years ago every time I made a video I would be pacing around the room going over my video notes which I have on a notepad here for more than an hour every video I was really nervous and I'd need to repeatedly go over the video in my head and nearly audibly I'd be, I'd be talking aloud around this room over and over again just trying to get it straight in my head now now I can pretty much just say right my notes are done sit down turn the camera on and I can film it in 10 minutes flat now so I'm quite happy now with how things are going and question 10 is what booktuber have you watched since the beginning now the booktuber I know I've watched and indeed still is very active on booktube is Chris from the Reading Road. Chris started booktube about five or six days before me his first video was uploaded so I've always got on with Chris, I like Chris and indeed I would love to meet Chris one day in the future and indeed I plan to and I would greatly recommend you go and check Chris's channel out because well as you can tell Chris is a really nice guy and 
it's just his videos are always worth watching because he's extremely well worded and he's extremely thoughtful about the books that he reads. Anyway, with that said, that is it for this video. If you want to tell me any of your answers um, for this, or indeed if you've done a video about it, frankly, which would be a more logical thing, then you know, feel free to leave me a link to that and I'll have a look at it and we can have a conversation. Uh, all the social media links as well as the people that I mentioned can be found in the description box below. I mean that, that is it for this video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you another day. Bye for now.